G'day Eagles fans, welcome to Eagles in Isolation, proudly presented by AGL, the energy within the Eagles. Not every day you have a two-time John Worsfold medalist and Elliot Yo joining you on the line from the hub. Welcome Yoey, how you doing? Hey, thanks mate, thanks for having me. Um, going alright, yeah, uh, could have been a bit better if we had a win on the weekend, but uh, we've got ne next week to look forward to. Oh, one week at a time, no more cliches, but you have drawn the short straw <laughs> of uh, media responsibilities. Just give us a... A little bit of an idea of what this last couple of days has been like, stuck in the hub. I mean, how are you looking to rectify it? What's some of the feedback been internally with the senior leaders and, of course, the senior coaches? It's been released. I thought it got last night that we're allowed to go out and do surfing and golf and stuff like that. So a lot of boys will be enjoying that. Um, and that sort of gives a bit more time um, away from the hub and gives you a bit of a freshen up. Um, the past sort of week, it sort of feels like it's been a bit more of a, a big brother type of feel. So... Um, yeah, it, it's, that's going to be good. But, um, yeah, look, we need to regroup and there's some things that we really need to address uh, going into the game against Brisbane and looking forward to rectifying, obviously, um, a poor performance on, on Saturday night. You did touch on hub life. I heard you're allowed to go to Coles and get a coffee. What an action-packed social life you're living at the moment. So what are you going to do now <laughs> that the uh, restrictions have lifted a little bit? Uh, go to Woolworths. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, go to Woolworths. <laughs> nah. Um, now nah, look, there's, uh, you, obviously you can go surfing, you can play golf. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that maybe in the next week or so you might be, I might be pulling the trigger early here and we, we might not, but I'm hoping that you could go and at least sit down in a restaurant and maybe have some lunch or something like that. That, that'd help. Um, at the moment it's just takeaways only. So yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit sort of, you jump in a car, you go to the beach and you come straight back to the hub so, or you go and play golf and come straight back. So Yeah. We'll wait and see. Hopefully, a little bit more restrictions can get eased. All right. Andrew Gaff, 200 games on the weekend. Uh, Jamie Cripps playing his 150th Eagles. That's life membership. But for Gaffy, he's still going to carry him off the ground if there's no crowd. And who else is going underneath him besides <laughs> from uh, sole partner Brad uh, Shepard? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I, like, we'll have to wait and see. We might pick him up to sort of take the, take the mickey a little bit. Um, mm. And he'll probably hate that, but it'll be pretty funny. And then Cripper as well, 150th. So um, we'll try and share them both off and they'll probably hate it, who they're going to wave to. Um, but yeah, I guess it's, it's, it's a, a tradition, really, whether you keep it or not. Um, we'll wait and see. So I think maybe we're getting Venice up. Uh, Venice has come up from Melbourne to uh, make a banner for both the boys. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, good to keep <laughs> Daniel Venables busy, I guess. We've got some fan questions ready to rock and roll here, Yoey. So from Derek J. Eddy. Yep. What's more satisfying, cuddles from your puppy, mowing the lawn to perfection, or winning a flag? Gee, that's a tight three-way finish, that one. Oh, they're all pretty good, eh? Mm. Um, probably winning a flag because oh. you, you can mow the lawn once a week and you can get a pup, cut, cuddles from the puppy whenever, but winning a flag doesn't come often. He won't be cuddling you much. You've left him at home for five weeks. Just reflect on that a little bit. All right, from Joanne. I know, I know. I know. I tried to FaceTime him before Thumb, and he gave me nothing. So he's off me already. <laughs> he's a smart dog. He knows what he's doing. Joanne wants to know what your favorite yep. movie, movie is. So this is a true insight into the personality. Yoey, don't blow it with like a human centipede type answer. <laughs> no, nah, definitely not. Definitely not. Um, as a kid, it was the Sandlot Kids. I probably watched that movie over 200 times, I reckon. Cracker of a movie. But as I've got older... Um, there's just too many good ones to pick. I've probably got, I actually wrote a couple down not that long ago that um, I'm pretty, I guess, that'd be in my, my list. So there'd be probably um, three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Good movie. That's a good one that I like. Um, Inglorious Bastards, another one that I love. Um, and yeah, there's, uh, I've, the list is endless, really. Um, I've, got, I've got a few. So it's hard to pinpoint one. They're two genuine crackers, so well played there. Jack McPherson wants to know, a real down-to-earth question, this one. Do you want to go to Mars once or to the moon twice? Can I go to both? Can I go to, can I go to the moon and then Mars? Don't be greedy, Elliot. <laughs> um, Not enough fuel, mate. I reckon I'd, like, I'd, like to go to the, I'd like to go to Mars because then you can be like, I'm the first person on Mars, and then you put the flag down while you go. But then also I think Mars would be a bit more interesting because there's ice, they reckon, on the, on the bottom of it. So I'd go and explore that. And maybe there's life down there. Who yeah. knows? First man on Mars. Bit of ego stroking there, Yoey. I like it. Andrea Phillips wants to know, what's your go-to music before the game? Now, I know the boys pump their communal music. Is there anything solo that you're rocking in the, in the headphones? Uh, mine varies. Um, 
I've got a weird taste in music. I go from 60s to Skrillex. So um, at the moment, I've been filtering through a bit of Elton John, um, Foran, uh, a bit of Earth, Wind, Fire. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, mate, it, it's a massive variety of music that I love. Um, but there's always one, one song that I'll always pick. And that's all these things that I've done by The Killers. Uh, that's one of my favourites. Very good. Jack Rewalt joining us here in the AGL chat. Last question here from Brody Damon. Uh, wants to know who your AFL idol was growing up. Now, I know you're a Dockers fan, so if you're not picking Clive Waterhouse, maybe you really didn't watch all that much footy as a junior. No, nah, it wasn't Clive. It was Modra. So, uh, Tony Modra, number six. Um, yeah, he, uh, he was one of my idols growing up. And then as I got a bit older, it was Peter Bell. So, I had 32 on the back after that. So... Yeah, uh, they were probably my two footy idols that I, I wanted to be like and I wanted to play like. So um, I love watching them play. Great work there, Yoey. Thanks for joining us for Eagles in Isolation. Proudly presented by AGL, the energy within the Eagles. Any final words as you gear up towards a massive contest against the Lions, maybe to the fans out there that are going to be tuning in from their homes? I oh, have faith, guys, and cheers on nice and loud. Bye.